Just keep it simple. A simple life is a beautiful life. Hi, happy Monday. Uh, welcome to Just Keep It Simple. Uh, a lot of people will ask, uh, you know, how do I trim roots? Yeah, so many people has different different ways of trimming roots. Uh, today I will share with you my way of trimming roots. Yeah. So what you do is you have all these fine roots. Yeah. All these fine root is the one that you don't need. So you want to remove all these fine roots. Let's cut it away. Yeah. Many like to keep long roots, you know, thinking that, you know, long roots, good, yeah, it's, it's good, <laughs> you will grow roots. In actual fact, uh, long roots uh, will not grow roots, reason being, uh, let me explain to you. Okay, fine roots, basically, when you receive your plant, yeah, receive your plant, it's all dry up. Can you see? it's all dried up so there's no way new roots will grow out from dry roots yeah so that is why you want to trim away all these uh, fine roots those are the roots that should grow but unfortunately in the shipment uh, and all that it has been trimmed off also uh, some people prefer to buy uh, with soil yeah but depending what soil the seller is using some they use a uh, very uh, low budget uh, soil yeah and uh, that's not what you want for long term uh, because um, sellers uh, that sell in bulk you know or in the nursery they can't be using good soil uh, because they're doing in bulk yeah it will be very costly and it will affect the cost of your plant so they use very uh, low cost kind of uh, soil and uh, a lot of people said you know I'll bring it back and that's fine yeah you will care from there uh, if you know that the soil of the seller is uh, the wholesale uh, bulk soil that they use and not in good quality and not going to encourage growth to your succulent then you need to change the soil yeah I encourage you to change the soil uh, but prior to that obviously you need to remove the plant from the soil and then this comes in where the root trimming is concerned so when you remove the plant from the soil uh, some people want to soak them in fungi site and all that yeah go ahead and soak them in fungi site uh, for what half an hour and so and then let it dry after it's all dry then this is where you come in so you trim away all the fine roots because it's really dry you don't need the fine roots and you can see yeah these are the fresher roots so you trim away all the fine roots um, I normally trim quite short yeah so yeah it's happy to receive a plant with long roots yeah basically to tell you that uh, the plant is healthy you know but then uh, some sellers uh, do help you trim the roots too but when you when you receive it you need to do a slight trimming yeah? slight trimming uh, depending on your career if it takes two three days then if the seller has trimmed the roots for you two three days then the roots should have colors but let it climatize in your home for a few days before you plant it in yeah before you plant it in so have a little bit more communication with your seller and all that so now all so long you see all this these are really dry roots let me show you these are really dry roots so what do you get from here nothing yeah so you don't need this that is why you need to trim the roots and so that you can have new growth of roots for you and that's where the plant will thrive and grow yeah. so that is why you need to trim your succulent uh, roots of course the normal plants you don't need to uh, but for succulent this is 
this is important yeah this is important this is part one <laughs> roots trimming importance yeah importance so trimming the roots well and all that is important and letting it colors in a few days is important too okay see all this dry roots yeah. you see that here yeah I'm sure you got better eyesight than me so uh, when you see all this okay you get me okay I'm sure you get me so you see all this all right so now like this this one Uh, a lot of you may just simply trim the roots and uh, plant it in you know let it colors and then plant it in and that is the reason uh, sometimes it get root rot because the dry root is still there and when it soaked in water I mean after a week you water it and then when it soaked in water then it rots right because it's already dead and it's in water so it rots when it rots then it slowly affects the rest and the rest of the plant the rest of the roots and the rest of the plant and this is not what you want so you see the importance of uh, trimming your roots correctly eh? trimming your roots correctly that's the important part of it okay that's done. Uh, I'm using a curved scalper. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have this, it's fine. You know, this is just my way of doing. Uh, it's not necessary for you to go and get. On top of that, it's really, really sharp. So. Uh, You have to be very very careful with this so uh, normally I won't encourage just use your scissor but I I like using this <laughs> so it's really sharp so I don't encourage unless you have confidence in using this yeah go ahead but if not you know like I said there is no necessity for you to get this uh, okay, that's all done. And if you don't have that scalper, you just use your tweezer. Use your tweezer. Yeah. Okay. Tweezer and scissor. Tweezer and scissor. Okay, that's really good. You can even use your hand. Okay. Put this away. Then you can take a brush, yeah. brush and brush off everything.
uh, I have this milk yeah uh, I use this milk basically to um, help heal the roots wound faster yeah uh, you can't find this on the shop <laughs> I'm not selling it as well <laughs> yeah milk is basically uh, three chips that they process and this is organic yeah it's organic so uh, and then I made it into powder yeah and I apply to it it helps uh, the root dry and heal yeah so I'm using this It's hard to do it with right in front of the camera. Okay, so I've applied the milk to the roots. Okay, so that's that's done. So now I let it colors for a day or two. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is lemon rose. Lemon rose uh, likes uh, good shaded sunlight. Yeah, not so direct sunlight because the petals tends to get burned if it's too hot. Yeah. So shaded sunlight and uh, watering is uh, more compared to those succulents that uh, don't prefer watering. So uh, you can see it's climatizing, yeah, it's climatizing. Like this is climatizing, means it's uh, getting itself used to the climate in Malaysia. So when you have uh, succulents that you bought and slowly slowly the petals are getting less and less, that is not something that I think you should worry about because it's climatizing. So it's getting itself used to uh, your weather, yeah, especially our weather in Malaysia. So I wouldn't worry about it and uh, just let it grow, yeah. In months to come, it will grow for you. You yeah, also just let it climatize as it is. So uh, tomorrow I will plant it into my soil. So I hope this uh, helps, yeah, trimming your roots the correct way, yeah. Okay, have a nice day and have a good week ahead. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to our Just Keep It Simple channel. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, the more people that subscribe, the more videos I can bring to you. And on top of that, uh, if you have any questions, yeah, as usual, just uh, drop me a note. And I'll reply you as soon as I get my hands on uh, the uh, <laughs> laptop. Yeah, sometimes I'm quite busy. Um, so happy planting to you and have a good week ahead as mentioned. Bye!